hi i've noticed some vampire drain on the bus um what is that first of all well it's when the battery drains um un for, for unknown reasons um so i noticed it uh for a while now uh, it drops a, a percent or two overnight uh, when it, the buzz isn't doing anything now this isn't a buzz specific problem this has happened on every single EV I've owned and I've learned from my mistakes. Now some of it is user error and some of it is also the onboard systems that need to use the power. So I'm going to show you a few um, reasons why you could get vamp vampire drain on the buzz and how to avoid it or at least recognise that if you change certain settings then uh, it, it will do it. Um, and you either have to accept that because that's a setting you want or um, you, uh, you switch that setting off. So the biggest cause of vampire drain overnight is to do with heating. So there are lots of settings on the vehicle that you can do for departure times, setting your air conditioning uh, for when you um, want to get in and out of the vehicle, when you want to get ready to leave in the morning. Um, so yes, um, the heater in here probably draws about two kilowatts of power. Now, if you leave that running for say half an hour before you're ready to depart, then that's one kilowatt hour of power that's getting drained out of your battery. Now, when it's a 77 kilowatt hour battery, that's more than 1%. So one, two percent if you have that setting on. So I'll show you uh, some of the main places where those heating settings can be put, switched on and off. So one of, of them is here on the um, charging menu. So you can put um, charge for departure time, charge and air condition for departure. Now, if you put this on and you forget that you've got it set set and you're not actually going anywhere so say if you set it for you know a week when you're you're on you know you're not going to work it'll still heat up the car for quite a while in the morning so just be aware um, if you have this setting then uh, it, it will cause that vampire drain the other place you will get to it is when you go on stationary um, air conditioning so um, on here, you can get to the departure time. So I've got nothing set, I've switched it all off. Um, air conditioning and then settings. Um, I had this set, start air conditioning when vehicle is on unlocked. <sighs> what, <laughs> what that does is it's, it's great, it's a great feature. Um, and every time you approach the, the car, it will unlock automatically, that's another setting. Um, so I unlock the car and the heating immediately starts, which is great. So by the time you get into the into the cabin, depending if you're faffing around in the boot or loading things up, you've got a warm and toasty cabin. Great. But this is my car here. On the other side of that wall is the house where I keep the key. And every time you move the key, it goes, oh, you're getting in the car. I'll switch the heating on for you. Oh, I don't want you switching on the heating every two minutes as I'm, like if I just pick up the key and move it somewhere. Uh, so I've had to switch that option off because that's where I was getting this, you know, um, like quite a lot, a 2% drain. Also the other area uh, to do with heating, uh, which will affect your vampire drain is uh, what temperature you've actually got it set to. So I've got it quite high at the moment. Um, so that will obviously drain a lot of battery. Uh, this has great big windows, as all cars do, so you're going to lose a lot of heat as it's trying to heat it up. So um, you could always... Oh, it's decided I'm not interested in that anymore and switched it off. Um, you, can, you can put it down, uh, turn it right down maybe, right, 18 degrees. So that'll help a bit um, if you do want those settings of, you know, preheat in the morning before you go, before you leave, um, or you want that heating on approach uh, when the, the vehicle unlocks. So turn that, that down, you know, you 
probably dressed for winter anyway so 18 degrees isn't too bad and then you can turn it up when you get going so that's it on the heating related uh, vampire drain the other um, reasons for vampire drain is the we connect um, apps so the car is constantly communicating uh, back to the servers so something's going to be running some kind of it is going to be running on this so that's going to be draining from the battery you'll get that on all modern cars now uh, pretty unavoidable but that should only be you know a fraction of a percent overnight and that's it how to avoid vampire drain